Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz, and welcome to a special investing report brought to you in association with the BNZ. Today, a big announcement about plans for a reasonably big new bank down south. Marrick Finance, which is owned by Pine Gould Corporation, CBS Canterbury, the Canterbury Building Society, and the Southern Cross Building Society have announced plans to merge to create what they call a heartland bank. This would target families, small business, and rural areas in New Zealand. The argument is that with the demise of finance companies in the last couple of years, there's a gap in the market for people to compete with the big banks, and in fact cater to an area which many people say the big banks aren't catering for. Now, currently, this grouping of institutions, none of whom are registered as banks at the moment, would aim to get a banking licence. It would have $2.2 billion in assets, more than 70 branches and more than 300 staff. It would aim to increase to more than $5 billion in assets within the next five years or so. There's still plenty of hurdles to jump here yet. Shareholders need to accept this potential bid and we need to see a lot more detail about how the various assets are valued, who would own the shares, and there also needs to be a new act of parliament for the building societies involved. Now Standard & Poor's has come out and said that it won't change the ratings for any of these three institutions yet, although it says if they are together they would seem to be stronger. We'll see how this one develops, but it looks like Kiwi Bank will have a partner as another New Zealand-owned bank based here and listed on the NZX. That would certainly be welcomed by many investors looking for a broader, deeper NZX. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special investing report brought to you in association with the BNZ.